And I'm, um, I'm rolling. Well, we just turned back up at the, the spot we actually started at this morning and, uh, yeah, we've already landed one nice one. Ryan landed a beauty. Not quite sure what I've got on here. It's coming up to the surface pretty quickly. So it, uh, it might be a cobia, mate. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Definitely uh, lots of head shakes there. Could be a cob up on the top. Let's have blind. a look. What have we got up there? Oh, yep. it's a cob. It's a cobia. Cobia, look at that, right beside the boat they coming in. They swim straight at the boat. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, look fight. what's going on. And then, uh, <laughs> yep, take off a million miles an hour. Like that. They're notorious <laughs> for that, aren't they? <laughs> they are. Oh, mate. Come and up then... for a look. They swim straight at the boat and people stick a gaff in them and they just get flogged by the gaff, you yeah. know. Just, I've seen so many people... Uh, really well, this is where group. you lose them, isn't it? Right you, beside the boat. Definitely, definitely. I don't know how many I've seen over the years get lost right there, <laughs> you know, because they, they expect to be able to pull them in straight away. They've got that much energy. For sure. They go bolstering off in a rate of knots, usually take the gaff with them. Exactly. And, uh, and break you off. So, yeah, it's not a, not a monster, but not bad at all. Now what you got to do with these guys? Yep. Yeah, well, he's taken the jig. We've been uh, jigging over this area, and there's just uh, so many uh, different species down there. We just swapped over, and we're thinking, okay, it's gone a bit quiet. Let's put a little bit of bait on. But um, the bait got eaten by the little fish, and the cove is eating the eating the jig down the bottom, which is nice. Now what you got to do with these guys? They're they're incredibly powerful, so it's always best just to lighten the drag off a little because they'll they'll straighten your hooks out pretty quick. You just got to take your time. I've seen so many people rush cobes, and right beside the boat, you just lose them. It's it's a, it's a disappointing ending. And we'll let this guy go anyway. But it'll be nice to get him in the in the boat. Maybe get a nice picture and send him on his way. But as you can see, this rod's six to ten kilo stick, just a a lovely little, it's a Ray to Barra spin, so it's actually been quite handy, been able to catch a lot of really good quality fish, and this Saragosa is a really top-notch Shimano reel, loaded 50 pound braid, 50 pound trace, and just start to tie in a little, just start working up through the water column, or oh, maybe not. It's all about the drag systems, these reels. It's, that's why you buy them, because they're quality drag systems. As you can see, just the Saragosa just peeling off line. And it's under quite heavy drag. So it's this fish having to pull all this line off that's actually uh, tiring him out. So we'll just sort of start to change angles a little bit. those fish you hook them and you think oh the fight's going to be over in about 30 seconds because they rock up to the boat <laughs> and then half an hour later you're still going on them. They're notorious for it mate. They are aren't they eh? And they love twisting on the gaff or when you grab hold oh. of them the first thing they do is a death roll like a crocodile. Yeah they do too. And they're very strong. Just try to pump them up a little bit. Come on buddy. I can say hello. A bit of a run there against quite heavy drag, so he's getting slowly tired. I'm just able to bring him up. Just keep his head. If you can keep his head, his tail will pump him all the way up. All right, he's turned again. Okay. As soon as he stops, though, you go. 
start working them up again. That's a nice angle if he stays out there, but he tends to come into the boat and then go under the boat. And it's uh, not easy when you're fighting him straight up and down, so I've got him coming now. He's going to be up beside the boat in a second. There he is down there. Kind of another run though. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Far out. Come on, beautiful. Oh, there you go. Aren't they an <laughs> they are an unusual looking fish. There we go. But yep, yeah, very nice fish. Winds up a, a pretty good segment and a nice day. Thanks, boys. No worries, mate. Yeah, good stuff. A couple of nice nannies. They are impressive, and a cobe to boot. But we'll send this girl back on her way. Hopefully, catch her when she's twice the size, eh? That's it, buddy.